French women are known for their chic and effortless hairstyles where they don't have to put a lot of time or product into doing their tresses. Today I'm going to show you my new French girl haircut. Wait to the end where I reveal it to you. And I'm going to teach you how to care for your hair naturally so that it is healthy, strong, silky, and luxurious. If you're new here, welcome. I have a couple of resources for you, specifically my Paris Plan Google Map, which I created based on my recent trip to Paris. It has 90 plus locations and growing of all the best and coolest things to do in Paris, including places to shop, places to eat, off the beaten path places, museums, and more. So be sure to grab that guide in the description box below or somewhere right up here. French women are obviously known for their incredibly low maintenance and effortless beauty routines and regimes. I personally think that our hair and our makeup are one of our most powerful accessories that we can use when we're planning outfits and when we're trying to create a new look for ourselves. And while I was in Paris recently, I got to see all different kinds of hair from all different kinds of women, probably some from tourists, some from real Parisians because I could pick up on who was speaking what language and kind of what their vibe was. I saw lots of really long hair, short hair, and of course the beautiful French waves. Personally, my hair has been long for over 10 years. I've pretty much kept it one style and one length for as long as I can remember and I've been very finicky most of my life about how I do my hair and how I care for my hair. It's also really important to me that I keep my hair and my skin as natural and organic and healthy as possible so that's part of what we're going to be talking about in today's video. But after my visit to Paris I really felt that it was time for a change. I made an appointment with my new stylist, we talked about my hair plan for the coming year which is something I've never done before in my whole life because I'm pretty much boring and a little bit too busy to focus on doing anything different to my hair, but I think it's time to take it up a notch. One thing that I feel is very important to mention because I was doing research for this video is that there are a lot of YouTubers who are white talking about their hair and natural hair. If you are a person of color and you stumbled upon this video, then thank you so much for being here. And I just wanna say there are dozens of French women that I follow on social media who are not white and they have gorgeous, awesome style and hair. So since I am white, I feel that I can speak pretty much only about white hair and white hairstyles, but I don't want to leave you out of the conversation. I'm so glad that you're here, so feel free to drop me some comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you do with your hair, what hairstyles you're interested in, no matter who you are or where you're from. Also, if you follow any really cool Instagrammers who are people of color, drop them in the comment section below because I'm always on the lookout for more style inspiration. Let's go ahead and quickly dive right into the products and the tips that I have for you. You have to use the proper kind of product on your hair. So for me, I have very naturally oily, Scottish, Irish, English, German hair. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. My hair can't really go very far or very long without a good shampoo. I use 100% chemical free, organic, vegan, cruelty free shampoo. It's also very affordable and I will link it in the description box below for you. This is from A Cure. It's the Peppermint and Echinacea shampoo and it gives my hair volume, aka it does not add a lot of extra oil. So they do make shampoo for oily hair, for color treated hair. I really recommend that when you read the label, you can understand just about everything that you're reading. And you can always pop over to environmental working groups website skindeep.org and type in your product and see what the rating is for the things that you're putting on your scalp and on your skin. Obviously, if you color treat your hair, that's a whole other bag of tricks, my friend. That can change the structure and the look and feel of your hair for years, honestly. So I think one of the biggest benefits that I have to my hair being naturally healthy is that I actually don't really use any hair color whatsoever. I did years ago, I did once or twice, but I haven't for a long time, so my natural hair has grown out quite a bit. My second tip for you is to make sure that you don't overwash your hair, even if you do have oily hair. I use this dry shampoo from Inner Sense, and it is the most unique dry shampoo I've ever used in my life because it comes out as a liquid. So you pump it onto your fingers, and then you work it into your scalp. So what I do is I use this on day two with a blow dryer to 
kind of massage it into my scalp and absorb that extra oil. I don't use a conditioner, you might have seen you know, just use the shampoo. Now, some hairstylists have told me that if I were to start using conditioner, I might see a change in the amount of oil or sebum that my scalp is producing, but I still don't want to go for an extra product. I like having a minimal, natural, and organic hair care routine. But just in case you were really nervous for me, <laughs> I wanna let you know that I use a lot of facial oil, and when I am you know, not having anywhere to be the following day, I will occasionally use the facial oil that um, I'm wearing right now in my scalp and sometimes on the tips of my hair. And this is organic, 100% organic argan oil from Trader Joe's. This is something that was affordable for me. I picked it up at the grocery store and it just works and I love it and it's very basic. My final tip for you is this. Healthy skin and healthy hair start from the inside out. What you eat is very important, how well you hydrate, and the kind of things that you use on your skin and on your scalp really do influence the quality of your hair. You may have a nutritional deficiency that causes your hair to fall out or to not grow very quickly. You might have naturally very fine hair. Everybody's hair is totally unique to them and it's completely made up of what you are consuming on a regular basis. So no matter what hair you have, no matter what length of hair, whether it's color treated, whether you're white or black or Asian or Latina, you genuinely need to nourish your body from the inside out to make your hair whatever you want it to be the very best that it absolutely can be. One of the best ways I know how to do that is to supplement with a really good vitamin that is a whole foods based organic vitamin and they're very affordable, less than a dollar a day for you to take. And I promise I've been taking these vitamins for years and I see a huge and noticeable difference. I'm 34, almost 35, and I think that my skin and my hair would look so different if I didn't consume these supplements and take really good care of my hair and my skin on a regular basis. All right, you've made it to the very end of the video. You are so amazing. Without further ado, let's reveal the actual do. That was, that was incredibly, that was incredibly cheesy. I'm super sorry. Okay, here we go. I'm pulling it out. So my hair was like past my breasts, past my boob. And now it is just past my shoulder, which is wild. And um, I just washed my hair today and I used that dry shampoo in it. So you can see to get the natural French girl wave, if you have super straight hair like me that doesn't have a lot of natural wave, you want to have it up in a little bun or do something like that overnight. Let me turn around so you can see all the layers. Here it is from the side and from the back. So the other cool thing is I can actually flip it over to the other side and get just as cute of a little style like that, which I routinely do, or you can part it down the middle which I used to part my hair down the middle all the time. Um, after years of parting it down the middle, I was pretty much exclusively wanting to flip it to the side. But now, with this new do, I can wear it in the middle. And it's equally cute. But you can just pull your hairs back like this behind your ear. And, you know, when they're kind of damp, when you pull them out, they'll be slightly you know, curlied and quaffed. I hope that you find a good hairstylist that you like and that this French hairstyle has inspired you because all those French ladies in Paris inspired me and I'm really, I'm really proud of myself for taking this step and finally getting an adult haircut. Yeah, it'll look, it'll look good. It'll look real good. That is it, that's the hair. I hope you feel inspired to do something new and fresh to your hair and make it a part of your look. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite natural or organic hair product is because I am always on the hunt. All right, you guys, that is it for this week. I will see you in next week's video. I hope you have a good one. Take care, bye.